Let's do some French ombre nails with dip powder. It has been a hot minute since I have done these nails. They are a classic. They are one of my favorites. And so we're due for some French ombre nails, also known as baby boomers. To create this look with dip powder, you're gonna need a couple things. Number one, you're gonna need a sheer pink dip powder. I'm using Erica by Revel Nail. You'll also need a pure white dip powder. I'm using Porcelain by West Coast Dips. And because I'm a little extra and I like a little extra sparkle in my manicure, I'm gonna top this off with some bubbly. Now, pro tip, aside from the fact that glitter makes things more fun, shimmers are very good at hiding imperfections. So if you are a beginner and you're still learning, grabbing a shimmer like this is gonna hide any little bumps and lumps. You know, it's just gonna hide them behind a little bit of shimmer. So it's always good to have a little bit of shimmer in case you need a lifeline. The other thing you're gonna need is a fluffy brush. I find if it's like not super fluffy brush, you get a little bit more control over the powder and where you tap it. So this is gonna help you create that French ombre look. Let's get our powders ready. So we got our white powder and we got our sheer powder. We're not, and then we're going to apply base coat to our entire nail. Now, of course, to avoid flooding that cuticle area, make sure you start in the middle of the nail and then we're gonna push up as close to the cuticle area as possible without touching the skin and then pull back. And then we're gonna put a fairly generous layer on the nail. You want it not too thick but a little bit thicker than we normally do because we want to extend the dry time so we have time to do the ombre. And now that we got that layer on there, we're just going to dab into the white powder and we're just gonna lightly tap just where we want the white to go. Tap off the excess and then we're gonna do the same thing in just the sheer pink, tapping that all over the nail. Make sure you get your trusty toothpick ready. We're gonna run that along the cuticle line. Let's brush it off and see what we got. This is a trust the process moment. It's gonna look bad, sure enough. It looks bad. That is a rough line. If your first dip looks a little rough, do not stress, it's gonna get better. Let's keep going. So this time we're actually going to reverse the order that we apply those powders in. This is going to help blend that line so it's not as harsh as it currently is. So we're gonna take our base coat, we're gonna apply to the entire nail again. And then starting with our sheer pink, we're gonna just gently tap that onto the top part of the nail. And then we're gonna grab our white and tap that onto the bottom part of the nail. And then we're gonna use our finger and just kind of tap the powder together and then leave it alone. All right, let's brush it off. It's getting better. See, we're just moving through the process. Things are going our way. This is gonna look fantastic when it's done. Trusting the process. Now, after that second dip, you can see we're in much better shape and it's only gonna get better after we buff this out. So I like to buff and get everything super smooth before I apply any glitters or shimmers or anything fun like that. So we're gonna activate and we're gonna buff this out. In the past, I've done a third layer on my French ombres. If you feel like you need that extra layer, you can go ahead and do it. Just remember, we gotta swap the colors every single time we ombre. So if you're gonna do that third layer, go in and start with the white powder and then use the sheer pink. But if you're good after two, you can go ahead, activate and buff. So start blending into the natural nail at the top here. This is why I love a curved file. It does such a great job. And then blend the sides down. And then once I get like my main shape down, using the file, I like to go around and sharpen up all of my shape. And then finally, we're gonna finish it off with our favorite orange buffer block just to get everything super duper smooth and ready for that shimmer coat. I can't be the only one who puts my nails like right in front of my face like a little old lady. Helps me see. And then once you've finished buffing, everything's all smooth. You've got a choice to make. You can either leave your nails like this and you can encapsulate and clear and finish it up. Now, if you've only done two layers of the ombre, make sure you do at least a clear layer. The two layers of the ombre are not gonna be thick enough. Your nails are gonna crack and you're gonna ruin your manicure way too fast and it's gonna be real sad. We don't want that to happen. So don't leave it at two layers, encapsulate and clear, and then finish it up. But if you want a little extra glitz like me, we're gonna go in with the shimmer. All right, let's sparkle this baby up. And we're gonna apply base coat to the entire nail. Now you may wanna cap the edges here because we have not done that yet. And go ahead and dip in the shimmer. And then grab your toothpick and we're gonna just clean up those cuticle lines. I love it, I'm in love. I love this look, it's one of my favorites. And once you've finished all of your shimmer dips, we're gonna go ahead and brush away all that excess powder. Now, you could activate and very lightly buff from here if you want to, but I'm gonna take the safe side today and I'm gonna encapsulate in a clear powder. Encapsulating clear is gonna make sure that we don't actually buff any of that beautiful shimmer away, which, you know, with a color like Bubbly, I have buffed this before and it's been fine, but I just, it, I don't wanna risk it. So we're gonna encapsulate in some clear powder just to be on the safe side. Then we're gonna run that brush over the edge just to cap the edges and make sure that we don't get any 
chipping imagine chipping this manicure Ugh, after all this hard work i don't think so we've added our clear layer we're gonna go ahead we're gonna brush off all that excess we're gonna activate we're just gonna give it a very very light buff and then we're almost done so we're gonna add our second layer of activator and because we don't want to contaminate our top coat we're gonna take a lint-free wipe or a paper towel and just wipe that excess powder off excess activator off <laughs> and then we're going to grab our top coat now you want to limit the contact time that the brush has with the nails doing so will stop your top coat brush from getting hard contaminating and you know wrecking your dip liquids we're just going to start with three very quick strokes on the nail and then we're going to go in and do a much nicer job this time we're just going to make sure that we get top coat all over the nail and we're also going to make sure that we cap the edges to avoid any chips because again imagine doing all this work and having your manicure chip in a couple days that would be awful we don't want that to happen make sure you cap your edges give that a couple minutes to dry and then i'm just going to finish this off with my favorite cuticle oil and just like that we're all done creating this this beautiful french ombre look slash baby boomer look now before you scroll don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any diy nail tutorials or nail inspo